Here are a few tips that will help you to lose those first 10 pounds by simply changing how you prepare your food. How food is cooked has just as much to do with how healthy it is or is not. Tip number 45, instead of frying in oil or fat, try baking those items instead. Baking does not require all the fat and oil that frying requires and your food is not soaking in those substances while it cooks. Tip number 46, use non-stick frying pan spray so you don't use oil. Also, pans that are non-stick don't require as much, if any oil. Tip number 47, boil vegetables instead of cooking them. You can also steam them, as this is probably the healthiest way to eat foods like cabbages, cauliflower, broccoli and carrots. Tip number 48, be leery of no-fat and low-fat food items. There are many of these food items on the market, but they are not exactly healthy. Many of these food items use some sort of chemical or carbohydrate to sweeten them so that they taste better. However, the body turns these chemicals and carbohydrates into sugar in the body, which means they are still getting turned into fat. Tip number 49, don't fall victim to crash diets. These are bad for you and do more harm than good in the long run. The short-term results are typically that you will lose a few pounds, but once you give them up then everything comes back and your weight is worse the second time around. You cannot survive on a crash diet and you eventually get to a point where you have to give it up. Tip number 50, chew your food at least 8 to 12 times whether it is liquid food, sweets or ice cream. This adds saliva to the food that digests the sugar. When food isn't eaten properly and is just swallowed, you fill your stomach with food that isn't ready to be digested and it then does not yield the health benefits that you need. Tip number 51, when you are cooking with oil, use a good extra virgin olive oil. It is more expensive than vegetable oil, but the health benefits are much better and it is worth the cost. Olive oil has been associated with a reduced risk in coronary heart disease and helps to increase the elasticity of the arterial walls which reduces the chance for heart attack and stroke.